Hey guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Pixel Experience ROM for the OnePlus 6T but that's not all of it. This is the first ROM with a fully functioning, fully functioning fingerprint scanner on the 6T so stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, it's been a while since I've gone into a custom ROM, forgive me for that, please bear with me. But this is too exciting of a news to pass on. Fingerprint scanner on the 6T is now working. There are a few hiccups here and there that is still there but this is way more polished than personally I believed it was possible on the first iteration so that's something there. Here is the fingerprint scanner. Let's just open it up and see. Yes, the fingerprint scanner is working. I have set and it's a great feeling using a custom ROM on this phone with fingerprint scanner working. Now let's keep that aside and get on with the ROM now. This is Pixel Experience unofficial version so do keep that in mind. As of now there is no official version on the 6T but it might be coming later. So let's go to the settings. In the about phone page you can see that it is a uh, Pixel Experience Android version 9.0. Security patch is April uh, that is the latest version as of now and the kernel is uh, 49168 which is the latest version so that's also pretty cool. Apart from that basically everything else is what you would expect out of a custom ROM. Now if you have been uh, on the custom ROM scene it was a trouble. It was a chore to get the fingerprint scanner working and due to the works of some amazing developers it is now possible and the pixel experience is the one which actually did it first so I'm really happy with that. I did use the initial version of pixel experience ROM with the fixed fingerprint scanner uh, which didn't work on always on display but this one is a new version I have flashed it on top of it I'm really happy with that let's get to the features now pixel experience ROM is not the most feature rich ROM if you have ever experienced a pixel phone uh, with Google well you already know what all features are available let's get started with the gist of it before that everything is working VLT is something which is working I have made a lot of calls with that sim all that is working private DNS is working I have been using DNS servers battery is something which I will mention after a while in the display options you do have adaptive display nightlight is available which can be customized and it does have a uh, intensity option also font size and display size can be customized I have set it to default just because of this video I mean display is available and it does have an always on mode so uh, that is really cool so as you can see always always on mode is available personally I don't use always on and uh, again fingerprint scanner on the always on mode is also available which is pretty damn awesome personally I don't use always on but new notification and uh, pickup sensor and pocket mode is also available which works maybe 40% of the time that's something there pickup sensor I don't think it's working fully well because sometimes it wakes up sometimes it doesn't happen proximity sensor also it doesn't really work all the time I like to have hand wave mode also it doesn't have it but hey it is a step in the right direction I like that now it does also have now playing option which will listen to the music which is playing around you whenever the phone is even sleeping and it will recognize the song and actually uh, keep a history of it now I have used this feature on the OnePlus 3 it works really well even with the obscure so songs which I hear from animes and stuff and uh, it actually does pick up most of it so I'm really happy with that. Apart from that double tap to wake is available which again doesn't work all the time. Uh, right now it does but I have seen it not working many times. It does have a device theme or dark or light mode as you can see I am using dark mode. In the sound options it does have all the stuff which you will finally need or if you will find in any other custom ROM or a USB based ROM so that's something there. Security options it does have fingerprint scanner as I've already told you guys it does work. So as you can see I have set up two fingerprints. It doesn't have the fingerprint animation and uh, I don't think you should be happening with that so as you can see it is showing me that that is the fingerprint I have set up. This is something which you will have to keep in mind that as you can see whenever I'm using the fingerprint uh, the screen dims down and uh, kind of 
fades but yeah there is a slight flicker and when you are customizing or when you are setting up the device for the first time after a, a flash you will be getting a little bit of slugginess whenever you're using it do keep that in mind it is something which you need to keep in mind if you are planning on using it i am on an encrypted device and it does work on encrypted devices in the additional buttons options you do have a vibration selector you can customize the strength of vibration which is really cool to have notification ladder is also available which you can customize which is a nice option in the display modes it does have a high brightness mode which just cranks up the brightness to the full slider so i'm already using this the panel modes are available where you can customize this rgb mode dcp3 night mode adaptive mode and also oneplus mode normally keep it off in the system options gesture options are available where you can jump the camera by double tapping the power button swipe up on home button that is the pill options are available which does work really well really happy with that prevent ringing on a oneplus device it doesn't really matter so that's pretty much it and that is it in the extra options on this rom as you can see it's not the most uh, technical rom doesn't have most of the features but that's not really the highlight of this one pixel experience rom has always been a uh, one rom which you can relate to i mean you don't need a lot of features to run the phone but it does have certain niceties like it's a very very good rom for anyone who just wants to use their phone like anyone else uh, have the google-esque features which is available which actually does work really well so i've been using the google phone quite a bit and i'm i've been really happy with that uh, it does have a spam blocker it doesn't have call recorder which is a bummer but hey it is something there everything just works i'm really happy with that now the battery life the battery life is something which i'm really happy with on this rom i've been getting 10 percentage of battery drain like a long time i mean uh, in the short duration of using this particular version of the ROM, I've been getting about 9% to 10% of active rain, which is really, really cool in my opinion. Uh, works really well. The idle rain is also pretty commentable. I'm getting less than 1% uh, on idle rain and less than 0.6% on a overnight idle. So it does sleep like a baby. I'm really happy with that. It's just amazing. Now the performance of the ROM. The performance of the ROM is also what you I would consider as uh, normal. I'm getting about 287,000 or I mean 288,000 is basically the ballpark of it. I couldn't run multiple runs on it. I have been having this issue on uh, Android 9 ROMs. Uh, not sure why but uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, this was the only run which was successful. So yeah, this is the score which I got base it off of it now the stability of the rom i have to say it is pretty stable the only problem which i've experienced is mostly related to the uh, lock screen where the device would uh, refuse to wake up for about two to two to five seconds uh, when i press the button or just take it take my phone out of the pocket there are a few issues with that it's probably linked to the fingerprint scanner and all that so i am willing to forgive that because it is an unofficial beta version so that is something there uh, there has been instances where i would click the power button and it would just not work i mean the screen wouldn't turn on i have to just sit there staring at my phone for about five seconds before it would even give me a vibration or anything so yeah it has happened stability wise it's not there where i would consider as oxygen os is but uh, for the most part it works as a daily driver now the camera the camera with which it comes is the google camera with night sight without the slow motion working and all that uh, i'm really happy with that it does take a great photograph it does take hdr plus photographs i mean it's at a much better place when it was of on the initial versions for the oneplus 60. earlier i did make a video comparing the oxygen OS camera with the oneplus 60's google camera and uh, i kind of said that the oxygen OS camera was in my personal opinion opinion better but i mean if you are someone who uses that still i mean you need to reevaluate that because google camera is back on top as the better camera options available for any device so i'm really happy with that it works it is really really crisp photographs video also so it works i'm really happy with that now the aesthetics of the rom the aesthetics of the rom uh to be extremely honest this is not a rom which you need uh, if you want to tinker around with the aesthetics it's pixel experience rom you get pixel that's pretty much it you get the pixel uh, exact uh, aesthetics you get with a pixel rom and that is pretty much it you don't need to tinker around with if you want to tinker around with there is substratum you can get that if you have root if you have substratum with a uh, magis module you can pretty much use any theme available i'm using swift installer for the swift themes and it has been working really well i've disabled it for now but i mean it works so that's pretty much it 
Now the overall experience on the ROM. The overall experience of the ROM is uh, pretty okay. I wasn't expecting such a good ROM from this one because I mean it's an unofficial ROM on a device which just got the fingerprint scanner working. I had uh, doubts that I will be using this for a long time but I have been using this for about three days now and uh, I mean uh, the latest version I only installed it today but the previous version of it I was using it for two days and I actually liked it. I didn't feel there was a much of an issue. Yes, there are lapses in the responsiveness when you are coming out of a sleep. When you are pressing the power button, it doesn't come out right away. There is a certain lag with it, but that is to be expected on a device like this, which is really new and uh, the ROMs are just coming out. So it will be ironed out in some time. Battle Life was amazing. I actually liked the Battle Life a lot and uh, with a few tinkering, I am sure I'll be getting, um, I can get sub 8 to 7 percentage of active rain and sub 0.7 percentage of idle rain. If you, if I do some tinkering with this, I, I can't wait to try that out. So yeah, overall experience was great. The big thing again is the fingerprint scanner which is working and I am really happy with how that turned out to be. So. It just works and the fingerprint scanner is also as fast as Oxygen OS's implementation which is something which I did not expect but hey it is what it is so yeah. Let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool. There you have it that is the boot animation which I mean if you have ever seen a pixel ROM or pixel phone you know that was it so yeah it works. So there you have it guys, that is the Pixel Experience ROM, works like a charm, I'm really happy with it, fingerprint scanner is working which I cannot shut up about because it's so exciting, that means there will be a lot more ROMs coming up with the same fingerprint scanner which is working and I have been waiting it, waiting for it for a long time now, I really can't wait to try it out in other ROMs but again, Pixel Experience ROM you guys. It's there. I will be trying out a few other ROMs also which does have the fingerprint scanner working and uh, let's move on from that. Let's see how it shapes up on the 6D. So it's on. The game is on. So yeah, I guess I'm interested about the video then. Hope you guys like the video. Please just subscribe and like the video if you want to use. See you guys next time. Bye.